and welcome back to my channel bold and free okay so today we're going to be cooking with v so you know i'm all about the quick 30 minutes or less meal so today we're going to be making cabbage fried cabbage and sausage so come with me on this journey of cabbage and sausage i'm gonna show you my way now my way might not be like your way because i, I don't eat a whole lot of all that extra extra i like the perfect seasons and sausage and the cabbage and that's it so this is going to be a quick video on how i do my cabbage and sausage so first we're going to get our sausage and just cut our sausage up now for me i like doing small so that's just what i do once the sausage is off put it over here and slice it up This doesn't take a whole lot of prep time. So once you slice this sauce up to the size of your, like, of your liking, maybe about one or two inches. I'm actually not eating beef right now. So this is strictly for the babe and I'll probably just eat around it. I am eating turkey sausage, but we ran out of turkey sausage and I don't feel like going back to the store. So now that we have this sliced up, we're gonna go over here a little olive oil to the bottom of my skillet. I'm gonna let that heat up. Turn my eye on about medium heat so it heats fast. So while that's going, we're gonna come back over here and chop up our So what I like to do first is pull off the big leaves. Now this is about the best cabbage I can find. I prefer one with better um, outside leaves. But you know, we work with what we get. And now what I do, I'm all about being quick. I cut mine off on the side. I just cut around the core. Like I said, this might not be your way, but this is my way. And cut around the core. So then we're gonna chop these up some more and wash them. All right, before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and put our, ooh, you hear that sizzle? Our sausage into our pan. And it doesn't take long for this to brown on each side, maybe two to three minutes, let it cook and brown on each side. Now what I do is Once they're done cooking, while they're cooking, I'm over here 
running my water to wash the green cabbage. until I get my cabbages clean. So now we're going back over here. Right, so I like to do, I just pop it like this. In the bowl. really small pieces of cabbage so like I said this is what I do and it saves time why do I need to cut it in a bunch of gazillion small pieces you know it's gonna get smaller when you chew on it and put it in your mouth so there we go And as they say, cleanliness is next to godliness. So as you're cooking, if you're like me, you're cleaning. So you don't have, first of all, so you don't have to do a whole lot of cleaning once you're on. Um, um, usually you get the cabbage with more larger leaves, with the larger leaves. And just it like so. So I'm going to throw this away. All right, so now I'm going to bring my cactus over to the sink. Dump them in the water to wash them. I'm going to add some bit vegetable cleaner to the water. So, you know, you're cleaning all in between. Cabbages. until we have no dirt. And a good thing about cabbages, at least the cabbages that I use, they're not usually they're that dirty. They're not light green because they're not pulling them out of the ground and they usually don't have a bunch of bugs and stuff in them. Mainly it's usually the outside of the cabbages that are dirty. And that's a lot of reason. Um, that's mainly one of the reasons why I don't use some of the outside of the outside of leaves. Okay, 
any little pieces you see that are sealed together, just break them up and wash them, you know? And even if a piece is too big for you, now you can just rip it to fit the size that I want it to be. And you just keep washing until they're nice and clean. So if you're watching this and you um, fried cabbage is one of your specialties, let me know down in the comments how you make your cabbages. What you what all you put in your cabbages? Because I, for one, I do not like onions. So many people put onions in their cabbage and in their greens. I don't know why, but it just hurts me when they do that. I don't like, and they say they soften once you put them in, but I just don't like that onion taste on my cabbage. I don't want to taste number cabbage and a good seasoning and some good cornbread. That's it. You gotta do all that extra. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kiss me. Keep it simple, baby. Keep it simple. Alright, so we're gonna let this out. And I'm gonna do one more wash. Could have just had this sink ready, but I only like using one side of my sink. I'm gonna let this wash um, rinse out quickly. I'm gonna do so it's like a little faster. So what we've already done, if you're just um, tuning in, or if you skipped, we've already sauteed our sausage that we're gonna make. We have the skillet ready. Now we're just cleaning our cabbage. I don't know, it's just something about these being in here that I don't like. Get that greasy build up and get it off of the cabbage. I know I saw a video one time where they watch the cabbage here. This part of it. And they're just not good. You know, this part of it is for you. And you can see these cabbages are really that dirty.
So, all right, guys, let's head back over to the stove and get ready to fry some cabbages. So good and clean. All right, so this is what we're gonna be frying the cabbages. Move this back out of our way. Cabbage over. to do because it take the thing about cabbage you don't have to really don't have to add you don't have to add any water to them because they make their own water cabbage is mostly water so you don't add any water to them i like to season mine as i go so i put some pepper some garlic salt uh, red crushed red pepper flakes I tend to like mine kind of spicy. I add cayenne pepper, organic cayenne pepper, just a little bit. Add a little fine sea salt. And I use a chicken and herb spice cube. You really don't need a lot of this. All right. Now. Mix this just a little. Get the season on the bottom, and then we're gonna put a lid on top of this and let this bake down so we can add the rest of the cabbages. See how that's already melting down nice and good? All right, let's cover it up for a minute. All right, found it. So we're gonna cover that up just for a few minutes to let that cook down. So 
So now that that's put down, let's go ahead and add And this was a three pound cabbage. And again, same thing, I put my pepper. All right, so. So that's about a half a package that I put in. And we go ahead and mix it. As much as we can. You want to go all the way from the bottom and pull from the bottom up. All right, so now we just let this cook down. That's perfect. I put my lid back on for about five minutes. Cooking down nice, nicely, and you see I didn't add any water or anything in here. And 
they still have their own juices. Cause I like a little pot liquor, as my grandma used to call it, on my cornbread. All right, now you just let them cook until they're your desired tenderness. I do tend to like mine a little softer than most because I don't like crunchy cabbages. However, my partner, she prefers hers to be a little crunchy. So I just do like um, a nice in-between. So whatever you feel works for you, that's what you do. That's another reason why I kind of like to let mine steam because it softens them up a little faster. But these are almost ready. I'm just trying to get some of these bigger pieces down to the bottom so they can cook. And cook more. As usual, you just season to your taste, season to what you like. So we're gonna leave these alone and let them cook. And then I'm gonna give them about five more minutes and we're gonna put, add the sausage back in. So now I'm gonna go over here and start putting away everything that I use and clean it up. They already look delicious and I still have to make my cornbread to go with them. So I'm gonna do that next, but that one with you. This is what they look like cooking down. See that juice in there? <clears throat> you know, see I didn't add any water or anything to it. Just the cabbages and the seasoning. <clears throat> and these I think are ready to add a sausage in. <clears throat> Just that big piece like those. I like for them to stay at the bottom. Stir the sausage in. And by golly, you've got yourself a 30 minute meal. And that's it, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments. But you eat my cabbage and sausage, fried cabbage and sausage. Let me know.